One of my most common questions I get from my online clients or my online subscribers is why won't my knee bend? This is the most common question that I get online. And I think it's so funny because I don't get this question from my patients that I see one-on-one -on -one in real life. I bring them through an exercise program and they really don't have to worry about the knee bending. We, go th we get through it successfully with the exercise program that I developed for them. So why are you struggling with knee bending? What is going on? What can we do to help it? I'm here to answer those questions today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a physical therapist that specializes in knee replacements. I have Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You're here right now. I have a Facebook group. It's a support group. It's free. Please, please join. Just go on Facebook and search Succeed with your new knee. There's a lot of people in that group that you can uh, connect with and realize that you're not alone really, really quickly. You're probably having the same symptoms as hundreds of other people. It's a great group to join. Um, I also have a website dedicated to knee replacement recovery. I have courses, I have exercise classes. I even have a knee bending course to get you through the knee bending program successfully, uh, the one that I have developed. We're gonna talk about that more today, but there's a few reasons why your knee isn't bending. The number one reason that I see is you're overdoing it. You're doing too much too soon. Generally, the knee isn't ready to do much for about six months post-surgery, but that's a long time. And we really don't have the time to just baby your knee for six months, and we don't expect you to do that either. We want you to slowly get back to real life. Most people need to get back to real life pretty quickly, maybe two to four weeks post-surgery. They're like, hey, I gotta get back to work. I gotta get back to taking care of my kids and driving and doing all of these things. So you need to get back to real life, but your knee doesn't like that. So it's gonna talk to you. It's gonna get swollen. It's going to get tight. It's going to get painful. It's going to cause you, that's going to cause the inability to bend your knee. So there's a lot going on with the knee bending. It isn't just tight muscles. It isn't just swelling. It isn't just overdoing it or underdoing it. It isn't just the wrong exercises. It's a combination of everything. And this is, these are the principles that I go over in my knee bending course. I explain to you exactly what is happening in the knee and why it's not bending and why everything kind of centers around doing too much, which causes more swelling, which causes more pain, which causes the inability to bend the knee. So in my knee bending program, the first three days of the program, I have you really baby your knee. So the first three programs, we or three days, we just do some basic exercises like marching, knee bend, some mini squats, some basic exercises. And then I have you ice and elevate every two hours. And I have you ice and elevate a very specific way to get the re reduction in swelling and pain immediately. We want that swelling to come down quickly so we can get that knee to bend. So you start this intensive program for the first three days of the program. I even ask you to start this program on a weekend because it is so time consuming. That's the hardest part. For the first three days and then after those first three days then we start to move into a more regular schedule doing more intense exercises more stretches etc and we kind of progress from there and the goal is to build up your muscles and to also stretch a little bit harder each time you stretch and to gain a little bit more range of motion every single session so those are the goals with my knee bending course um, we focus on hamstring strength which is the muscle that bends the knee also calf, uh, calf strength, does, that also helps bend the knee. But we also focus on quad strengthening. Quad strengthening is tricky. I have my knee model over here. So the quad is the muscle that goes right in front of the knee. This muscle is what you're feeling pulling when you are bending your knee. When you bend the knee back, this muscle is really, really tight. It tightens up because it's weak, um, because it's injured after surgery. And uh, because the neuromuscular connection is a little bit interrupted, so this muscle is not communicating with your brain correctly. So we have to kind of wait for that process to happen. Um, it's a natural process. Um, as you continue to exercise, your brain and your muscle will reconnect and work together a little bit more effectively. Um, but this muscle in the front of the in front of the knee, this quad muscle, um, it's tight. And you might think, well, if it's tight, we have to stretch it. But as a PT, when I hear tight muscle, I think we need to strengthen it. The reason why it's tight is because it's weak. Or the reason why it's tight is because surrounding muscles are weak. 
But with a knee replacement, you have to be very meticulous on how you're strengthening the quad muscle. You can't just go full force into um, intensive quad strengthening exercises. You have to slowly incorporate them because if you do too much, then this quad muscle is going to get overworked and it's going to get even tighter. So these are the principles that I cover in my knee bending course. And of course, I'm not expecting people to know all of this information. You don't know this as a patient. This is not your um, expertise. This is my expertise as a physical therapist. That's why I'm here to guide you through this process. With the knee bending course, one of the most common questions I get is how far post-surgery is too late? When is the cutoff point where I can't get any more knee bending? Generally at one year post-surgery, I'll say, eh, it's gonna be tough to improve your range of motion. You might see five degrees more if you stick with the program and you're consistent and you do it as planned in the program, but everybody is going to have a different level of improvement. The best time to start the knee bending course would be as early as six weeks post-surgery. So the earlier you start the program, the better your results will be. So it just depends on how committed you are to the program. There is a lot to it. There's a lot of instructions to follow, but that is the point. I give you a structured program and you can um, follow it as planned or you can kind of fudge some parts of it and hope for the best it's best to follow it as planned so if you are needing help with your knee bending you want the exercises you want the education behind it you want all the stretches please 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 look at my website succeedcourses.com so you can check out the knee bending course i've already had people complete the course and they had great improvement with their range of motions so this program is the only knee bending course on the internet specifically for knee replacement patients to improve their knee bending. So please check it out at succeedcourses.com. If you have any questions at all, please send me an email at drsam at succeedcourses.com. If you have any questions about the course or the enrollment requirements, things like that, I can help you um, with those types of questions. As always, thanks for listening. I'll see you again next time.